What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and today I want to make an unboxing video. Today I will unbox spiritual yoga gear. Uh, the last video that I made creating a review and what I thought about my process, my Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya, the 90 days, yes, it was 90, no, 30 days mandala of twice per day of a certain kind of meditation with Sadhguru after the initiation. Got a lot of views, a lot of people were interested in the topic. I'm really glad about it. I'm glad that I actually gather some viewers about the spiritual community because I'm getting more into the internal and inner growth both as well as personal development in general in on this channel so I'm glad to also uh, keep going with my growth keep going with my inner growth keep going with my journey I always read a lot about spirituality I'm always growing about it I always do my sadhana every single day I'm getting in touch with the whole community also in the Isha foundation community and I'm probably going to collaborate soon with them. I always watch Sadhguru daily, Sadhguru exclusive. I'm reading his books and many other things. So I also want to do Hatha Yoga. So I'm probably going to start having my body involved into this and not just the internal part, but also my body. So starting some Hatha Yoga. I did it actually one year ago uh, for a while, but this time not Upa Yoga, so not preparatory exercises, but actually real Angamardana, real Hatha Yoga for my body and we'll see what happened. But for today, I just want to make an unboxing because I ordered some Isha gear. Isha is the foundation, the volunteer foundation of Sadhguru, one of the most influential people in the spiritual world. I already talked about him and they sell pretty crazy things. He made his new book, so I ordered it and we're gonna unbox it. And also two things that I think they're really cool for spiritual growth in general. Let's unbox this. Sorry, I have two cats here laying down on my bed. So these two things, these, yes, I have three things inside here and two of them are consecrated. So I'm really happy about this. Oh my God. I received it three days ago, but I wanted to wait a while to make the unboxing video with you. And I couldn't wait. I'm so excited about this. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's see here. I already see the book. I don't know why I ordered the book, but I just wanted to, oh, because I wanted to help Sadhguru and be part of the people that actually help the whole foundation. So being a volunteer in kind of way, and this is the book. Look how cool, Eternal Echoes. This actually just came out. It's a book of poems by Sadhguru from 1994. So his first poems to today, so 2021. And yes, they put a lot of effort into this. I watched the entire video in which they talk about this book. They made an interview. Sadhguru was a little bored because he had to wake up early the next day so <laughs> because they had to go on a journey with their motorbike and look at this cover design by Isha Foundation okay oh wow the smell is very different from what I'm used to and look Eternal Ecos, Yogi, Mystic and Visionary, Sadhguru, etc, etc. So basically it's a book of poems and I order it first of all because it's pretty cool. You see there are like chapters and stuff. All the poems are chaptered and divided into like life, death, yoga, guru, mystical, love and devotion, toil, Nature, Shiva, Epic, People and Places, and Grace chapters. So these are all the chapters. So in his life, uh, I ordered it because first of all, it's pretty cool. I always want to learn more about what the Guru has to say. And I noticed that in the spiritual stuff, the spiritual world, many things are hard to explain logically. So the best way to explain it is by art so artsy thing and poems 
poetry is one of those ways. Look at this, all the poems here, divided into chapters, and you have this crazy, really cool designs here. And also I noticed in the presentation, the girl that designed this, she's very cute. Life. So yeah, I'm just really happy about it. Maybe I can read one of them also during my live streams if you want to if you're interested in this i can read some of them poetry is an in-between land between logic and magic a terrain which allows you to explore and make meaning of the magical but still have some kind of footing in logic when people experience something beautiful within themselves the first urge is to fur to burst forth into poetry if you fall in love with someone you start writing poetry because you because if you wrote in prose it would be feel stupid you can only say logical things in prose, but you can say illogical things in poetry. To express all those dimensions of life which are beyond the logical, poetry is the only sucker as it is the language which allows you to go beyond the limitations of logic. And it goes on. So yeah, that's it. The second thing is here. This little thing here, which I don't know how to explain it to you. I actually don't know. Now in December, there will be a um, guided course, sadhana course program to um, Linga Bhairavi Devi. I don't know the name. And there's a huge thing about this. It's a Linga in the Ashram of Sadhguru. And this is a consecrated string that you have to wear for 40 days at least on your wrist. Oh wow, there you go, it's called Linga Bhairavi Abhaya Sutra. This is Devi Abhaya Sutra, is a specially consecrated cotton thread from Linga Bhairavi. When tied around one's wrist, the sutra is supportive in fulfilling one's ambitions and removing fear. Women should wear the Abhaya Sutra on the left wrist, while men should wear it on the right. It must be worn for a minimum of 40 days. It can be removed by untying or born in it. Please do not cut it, etc. And there is a whole process. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, wear it because now there will be the whole program about Devi, which is this Linga that is consecrated for the three first chakras and a lot of things happening. So these, having something like this on the wrist maybe can help with growth, etc. So I'm just gonna wear it and see. And the third thing is something I'm really, really excited about. It's my first own personal Rudraksha. All right, guys, I know these things maybe are weird for people that are not into spiritual things, but once you get into these things, you notice a, a very different approach to life. You get a lot of improvements in your life that you just want to keep going and explore more. Oh, wow. There you go. This is the Rudraksha, if you... Oh, wow. There are like seeds. It's something that you're supposed to wear on your neck, but it has to... Yes, it has to go on a certain process before wearing it, because you have to condition them and take care of it. Rudraksh. Rudraksh, the most celebrated esoteric accessory of spiritual seekers, has been used extensively since time immemorial. Botanically known as, okay, Rudraksha are the dried seeds of a tree, which grows in select locations of Southeast Asia. A few Rudraksh trees have also been cited, etc, etc. The word Rudraksh literally means tears of Shiva. There are many legends in Indian scriptures and mythology that describe the divine origin, origin of the Rudraksh tree. According to one legend, Shiva sat in meditation for many millennia which, with his eyes closed. Upon opening his eyes, he shed tears of ecstasy, which fell to the earth and became the sacred Rudraksh tree. Rudraksh beads were Shiva's gift to the world. The benefits, Rudraksh's curative properties have been utilized worldwide for a number of physical, mental and psychomatic illnesses. There are, they are very supportive for maintaining physical and mental balance. For spiritual seekers, Rudraksh plays a supportive role in enhancing one's spiritual growth. 
some of the esoteric benefits ascribed to Rudraksh include enhancement of intuition, peace of mind, assistance in meditation, purification of the aura, cleansing of the seven chakras, and providing protection against negative and distorted energies. They are very beneficial to the wearer, however, Rudraksh can also be specially consecrated to enhance their impact. In the tradition, Rudraksh are usually received from a guru, a spiritual master. Rudraksh offered by the Isha Yoga Center are carefully selected and checked for their quality and authenticity and undergo a special process of consecration at the Jnana Linga, assisting the seeker in many ways. They are potent aids for one's physical and mental well-being, as well as for one's spiritual sadhana, spiritual practice. This help cultivate inner freedom and purity. It's a panchamukhi, the simplest one. And then you have conditioning and proper care of Rudraksh. So guys, <laughs> I'm really happy about these things. I, I know it sounds weird. These are weird stuff. But guys, I'm kind of getting into a little bit of becoming weird and I'm happy about this. <laughs> so yeah, when you try these things, you get a very good experience and your experience of life becomes better. Everything becomes better. So you just want to explore more. And you know, wearing this at home doesn't hurt anyone so if it makes me feel better i'm gonna try it i mean why not it's like this little ring every time that an indian guy check sees that i have this one on they always come to me and say oh wow did you go to india and it's just a consecrated ring uh, that i got for yoga as well so i'm really happy also about the community and everything around i wear it all the time and it's just a cool accessory maybe i'm not gonna wear this thing everywhere because it's a little different but maybe at home because i spend a lot of time at home i'm just gonna wear it so that's it guys i'm gonna have to uh yes condition this before and then I can wear it. All right, guys, so there you go. I tied it and I also made some more research about it and also about the, the Redraksha. Check this out. I have to put this in uh, clarifying butter for 24 hours and then in fat milk, pure fat milk for other 24 hours and wait just to make it moisturize because it's just seeds. And so I have to make it prepared every six months to not crack or be ruined by time and other external stuff. I read in the manual and also this one, so I'm going to do it in these days. And also this one, I read that it's a sutra, which means sutra is like this copper ring, which means they are just physical things, inanimate things, inanimate objects, but they are, they went through a special process of like consecration, depending on the sutra, depending on the object. And this is also with turmeric, which basically cotton and turmeric is a great way to transfer energy. So they consecrated this with the Linga Bhairavi Devi, which is something that is in the ashram, is a Linga that can help with removing fears and help with ambitions and all these things and help the body and the mind and all these mental, these uh, balance. So this is really helpful. And the energy of that thing is with turmeric and cotton is here, is here. So this is why sutra are great if in a one seeker's journey you can wear it depending on the um, depending on the purpose depending on the time depending on uh, how they were consecrated and also on the material they help you with many things with other things so this one is actually good for 40 days and then you can wear it if you want even more and then you have to bore it or you have to untie it and burn it and use it as a vibhuti or um, there is a special thing that you have to do but the point is it's uh, like um, a way to transfer energy so it's like it's a medium it's a medium that help you with transferring energy and turmeric helps it with being even more a medium to transfer even more that kind of vibe that kind of energy so that's it so that's it guys Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these things and if you already have something, I'm gonna link in the description everything that I mentioned and also these products if you want to check them out. It's not affiliated. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.